everybody, welcome to the video. Do you have the cognitive capabilities, the quick enough brain to be able to learn how to code at 50 years old, 55 years old, even 60 years old? Short answer is yes, and I have the science to prove it. So this uh, viewer of my YouTube channel, a guy named Dave P, sent me a very thoughtful email. And uh, so I'm going to go over what he sent me and a scientific study. So if we go back to the scientific study here, your brain doesn't slow until your 60s, later than we thought. Although people take longer to make decisions from age 20 onwards, this may not be due to a decline in speed of information processing, a large study has found. So there you go. Now you don't have to watch the rest of the video if you don't want to. Uh, but let's get into some details, though. What I've learned anecdotally over the years is that when people, when people are learning how to code, the biggest impediment that they have is not intellectual. It's psychological. Insecurities, uh, lack of uh, follow through, lack of consistency. A lot of it's insecurity. It's all rooted in that. Impatience. So that's not intellect. If you're an average person, you should be able to learn to code, no problem. Uh, let me dispel first myth. You don't need to be a master of math to be a coder. You just need to be consistent, thoughtful. Anyhow, let me just read this piece here. We'll get into some of the data in the article and we'll take it from there. So he starts, hi, Stefan. I'm Stefan, by the way. Uh, as you've done a couple of YouTube videos about the capacity of older folk to older folk to become computer programmers, I wanted to share with you a study released this week which challenges widespread beliefs about the relationship between age and mental speed. The aim of the study was to dissect the factors that result in the widely recognized and measurable observation that older people are slower at performing decision-making tasks. Many studies show that Hold on a second. Let me before I get into that. One of the things I want to point out, if you want to stay tip top in terms of your mental capabilities, you got to get in shape. Getting in shape does help. Having proper uh, body fat percentage, what, 18% would be nice, 20 to 18%. Um, BMI, some people will dispute that. Body mass index number. Just being in shape, doing exercise every day, drinking lots of water eating healthy, this will help you with your cognitive capabilities. By the way, I can tell you from my own personal experience. Anyhow, let me continue. Many studies that show that the time it takes people to process information and deliver decision increases as people age. However, the study notes, response time are not a pure measure of mental speed, but instead represent the sum of multiple processes, including, for example, how quickly they click keys on a keyboard or how long they review their decision before committing to it. The study is huge. Analyzing data from more than a million decision-making tasks performed as part of a separate study. The bottom line is clear. Here it is, the bottom line. Mental speed rises throughout adolescence, adolescence peaking at, a, at around age 30, but then it remains stable and high until after 60 years old. Let me say that again. Mental speed rises throughout adolescence, peaking at around age 30, but then it remains stable and high until after 60 years old. So basically, if you're 60 years old, you probably are smarter or faster thinking rather than the average 25 years old. Take that 25 year olds. I'm just kidding. Anyway, no, well, it's true. So don't worry, you're 25, you're 20, you're still growing. Don't worry about it, you get, uh, you got, you'll get there. Anyway, let me continue. Mental speed doesn't drop below that expected for a 20-year-old until after the age of 70. Oh, geez. I can see that. You know, I have certain relatives that super sharp as a, uh, in their older age, 60s and 70s, even some in their 80s or 90s. Um, a lot of it is just genetics, uh, how you, you know, how, how, what kind of lifestyle you led when you're younger, whether or not you continue to learn, you know, like the brain, uh, it's like any other aspect of your body. If you use it, you expose it to different stimulus, 
it will have a positive impact of terms of its capacity. Let me go back. Uh, perhaps most more interesting is that one of the factors causing the overall task speed to be faster in younger people is that they are more willing to submit to poorly reasoned answers than to properly review their decisions. As someone who laughs when I see young programmers boast on YouTube about how fast they type, I took some satisfaction in that finding. Yeah, you know, that's another myth out there. But somehow typing speed has anything to do with being a d good developer. That's all a bunch of BS. You know, with code completion uh, software, where, you know, you type in a few first few letters and it goes, it writes out the line for you. Speed of development has a lot more to do with your ability to break down problems as opposed to how fast you type. So anyway, just saying, let me continue. In other words, the fraction of a second longer older folk might take in acting on a decision is time well spent as they make their decision more on a more likely to be correct. And let's not forget debugging task. T debugging takes it multiple of a pi longer than initial coding. Yeah, yeah. When you're developing applications that are mature, especially you're, you're debugging most of the time. As a lifelong, that's why you got to write simple code. As a lifelong techie type, I have found my increasing patience and confidence to be one of the biggest benefits I have as an older person over that I had in the haste of youth. Anyway, I pasted a link to the study below. It is in an eminent peer-reviewed journal, Nature, Human Behavior. Methodology is quite complicated, but some other outlets have reported summaries of it, including this one. So uh, he's attached the paper. So thank you, Mr. Dave P. for the informative article. Let me just jump to the piece right here that he linked to. So uh, February 17, 2022. So that's pretty good. Our ability to process information during decision making doesn't drop off until age 60, according to new findings that challenge the widespread. Oh, you just, yeah, I just read that. Sorry. Not enough coffee. I didn't pick up on that soon enough. Um, the team used an established model of cognition based on previous research, which assumes people make decisions by continuously considering information until you reach a threshold of certainty. According to this model, the decrease in reaction time from age 20 is probably due to people wanting more certainty before making decisions as they age. Visual information taking Visual information taking more time to travel from their eye to their brain, people taking longer to physically hit the button as they get older. Hmm. So I'll link to this piece because I don't want to talk for 10,000 hours here. Uh, bottom line is, I had to turn up the uh, gain here. Anyway, bottom line is, is that uh, according to the studies, big studies, bigger the study, the more accurate the study, by the way. If you have a study with 100 people, hmm, have a study with 1,000 people, much better. Study with 10,000 people, much better. If I recall from my university days, I think if you have a study of 25K or more, something like that, it's pretty accurate. It's pretty representative of the whole. Anyhow, there you go. If you're thinking about learning how to code and you're worried that it's uh, you have cognitive deficiencies because you're 50 years old or 60 years old, even 70-year-old, um, According to the study, uh, given uh, you know all things being equal, rather, you're probably pretty pretty well off. In fact, if you're 55 or 60 year old, you're probably in a better position mentally than the average a teenager or somebody, uh, the average person between, under 30, actually. So that's according to the science. Again, if you're under 30, don't take this as a shot against you. It isn't. You're still growing. The brain is still maturing. Let me leave young nerdlings, a little point of advice. When you were uh, 20 years old, you look back at yourself at 10 years old and you said, boy, I didn't know anything when I was 10 years old. And then when you were 30 years old, and then you look back at yourself when you were 20, you said, when I was 20, man, I was a real idiot. At least I did. Uh, then when you hit 40 years old and you look back at yourself at 30 years old, you say, eh, I didn't know too much there. I, I made a lot of bad assumptions. When you hit 50 years old and you look back at yourself at 40, you're like, ah, I got some things right, but eh, some things I was wrong. You get the point, right? So don't worry about it as you get older. It's a function of aging is to uh, gain experience, 
gain wisdom and perspective. So when you're younger and you have hard opinions about things, which we all do when we're younger, uh, maybe think about that. Think about your perceptions of reality when you were 10 years younger and knowing that, you know, 10 years ago, you didn't quite understand the world as you do now. Uh, take it from me, 10 years later, you're going to have the same perception about your current self. There you go. I hope that helps. Oh, by, by the way, if you want to learn how to code, I got a mentoring program, link below. The foundation of the mentoring program is, of course, code, because it's the quickest way to reaching uh, financial stability quickly. Uh, but there's much more to it than that. You can learn more about it below. Shameless self-promotion is a must.